Ellie's. Yeah, why are you? <laughs> you know I read good. <laughs> May 19th. Boy needs a ball game. Itchy, tasty. Smoke weed. Y'all get those STDs, you get itchy tasty. You try to get that itchy tasty. Mike gets too much itchy, itchy tasty. Now we're sprinting. I'm not liking this view. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yawn. Oh, it's so easy. You gotta angle yourself and then run when he hisses. And then when he runs over here, Oh shit, I kind of fucked up. I just... <laughs> I just literally started bragging about how easy it is. I'm about to reset this fucking game. Vulcan, please! My tank! No, I didn't watch that. Bonus points if the watch that you recommend me can be bought with Cole's cash. I'm cussing at the villagers because they're fucked up. Yeah, they got Will Smith. Will Smith about to slap my ass. I did a, um, a knife only run of Resident Evil 3 on easy mode. Um. Oh shit. Dude, I just threw my. Uh... That's up. Yo, Kedzie, you're fired up. You're throwing around all these insults. I think you're hurting inside. Taking shit personal all the time. Hey, young man, I look like Michio Kaku. Now suck my toe. One I, that I haven't read before. Get out of my head. 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 Get out. Can we take a second to appreciate how good so your Hey, young man, I look like Michio Kaku. Now suck my toe. Bonus points if the watch that you recommend me can be bought with Cole's cash. I'm cussing at the villagers because they're fucked up. <laughs> Yo, they got Will Smith. Will Smith about to slap my ass.
Oh, that lumbar support is exactly what I needed. Let's go. Take this. I think we got it. Yes. Fucking yes! Oh, finally! I don't even know how many hours this was. Oh, I'm lightheaded. You can do it! <laughs> you can do it! Shoot his head off! Oh, thank God we got it! Oh, thank Way! <laughs> Fuck! I hate jump scares! What? I'll fuck you up right now! Try something! Try something! Right now, try something! Why do you Rectum! One I, that I haven't read before. Get out of my head. 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 Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Can we take a second to appreciate how good so your This game ends, I don't know if I can take it. Freeze, Urpag. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell, man? He's gone. Oh, forest. Just look at all that forest. Where are you, my garlic? What is it? It's bare. Hello, everyone. Hello. How does it sound, Vulcan? How does it sound? I can't hear myself, though. There we go. It's crazy. The music, I turn it to, like, the lowest setting, and it's still piping loud, but that's fine. What's up, Meg? Yeah, I can't go any louder. If I go any louder, it will uh, start going into the red. You know what I can do, though? I was just thinking. I can actually turn the music down in the settings. Yeah. That gives my voice a little more room. Guys, welcome in, though. Day four of Startoberfest. Yeah, yeah. Fourth day of October. Can you believe it? October goes by f so quickly, doesn't it? It's crazy. Why can't summer go by this quick? Yo, what up, Straw? You just reminded me to turn on my uh, bot. Thank you. Shout out to my boy. Thanks, brother. We're gonna because be when you do practice days, you must have entered in the world. Let's fucking go. Finally, baby. <laughs> I turned that shit way up because most of the clips are pretty quiet. It just happened to play. Hold on. I'm still turning on the bot. Wait. It just happened to play yours where you're nice and, and loud. <laughs> All right. The bot's on, guys.
But yeah, we're doing a first time playthrough of um, Clock Tower. I've never played this game. I just know that it's a point. <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo. A point and click horror game. That's all I know. My mom ran a daycare when I was a kid, and one of the people that she watched brought over Clock Tower. We didn't play it or anything. I think we ended up playing like Looney Tunes Lost in Time, but I remember seeing like the giant scissors on the screen. And then as I grew up, I mixed that memory with the uh, the witches with the scissors in um, Devil May Cry, but that wouldn't have been out back then. So I got those two mixed up. So I do remember the cover of the game. I just don't remember the game itself because I don't. I really don't think we played it. We played like Looney Tunes and Silent Hill, which is crazy because I was like super little at the time. Yeah, let's try yours, Meg. But guys, if you don't follow Straw Hat, please do so. Speedrunning legend. Absolute legend. Meg's working on becoming a partner. Going to be doing some Resident Evil 2 remake streams. Check Meg out. <laughs> Me too. I have a couple decent ones, but most of them are just like junk that my friends used to clip when I first started. And of course, a good buddy, a good mod. Check out my boy Vulcan. He's going to be streaming um, probably really soon, right? Next 30 minutes or something. Beatles. He taught me just about everything I know about Twitch, and I can't be more grateful. What up, Belkito? Hoochie Daddy. Is this Hoochie Daddy? Yo, this chair was like buckling as I was standing on it. You could feel the bolts like slipping out. What up, Belkito? I'm going to be doing my first ever uh, Clock Tower playthrough. I haven't played the game at all. One's in the chat if you've uh, if you played the game. The man, the myth, the knowledgeable legend. Last playing some Crash Bandicoot. He's the Resident Evil historian. Dude, leave me alone, bitch. Yeah, leave him alone, bitch. She pushed that off? Okay, I'm going to need you to help me. Because I know I suck at games. I'm going to make that bigger, though. The clips are so small. Never even heard of it. Excellent. You're in the right place. Two words for you. Hoochie daddy. How's everyone been, though? How was your week? You made it to Friday. Hopefully you're all chilling this weekend. I work tomorrow 9 to 6, and then I'm off Sunday. But yeah, hope you all had a good week. I made some hot chocolate. It's very good. In my Tim Horton mug that Melissa's mom gave me that I use every day. Haha. <laughs> I know, Meg. Meg took a spill today on some wet grass into concrete. Sounds like you're pretty scraped up. Sorry to hear. Belkito, how's um, school going? Did you get any jobs yet with uh, at the university? Studying for your organic chemistry exam. I get stressed when I hear about your exams. My elementary ed exams are so... There's not even exams for the actual elementary ed classes. Trying to get your camera to work. What's up with that? I had to switch from Streamlabs to OBS because my camera had to be reconfigured every time. And then my alerts stopped working. Be on Tuesday, October 8th. Why does that date sound familiar? Oh, Silent Hill. Um, oh, yeah, and isn't Bad Blood this Saturday? Well, you're going to kill it, buddy. You're so smart, man. I was like, October 8th. That's definitely a thing. Hey, look, you can see Melissa playing uh, Zelda in the reflection of that picture there. Look, Melissa's playing Zelda. Oh, you're going to be streaming RE2 on the 8th? <laughs> Vulcan said spoilers. She has noise-canceling headphones. She can't hear. Spoilers! 
the reflection of the game's in there. <laughs> Sorry, if that's spoiling the game, you can't even see that shit. <laughs> that's a deep, that's a, uh, a long pass spoilers. Come on. Yeah, so just, just don't look at this picture here. There you go. I'll just hold my hand here. Just don't look at that picture and you'll be good. Look, now you can't. What's happening right now in the game? You're going to do it on the 7th or the 8th? Okay. It's not a beach. It's not a beach. You're wrong. You can't see it perfectly. It's just something close to a beach. A beach without water. Anyway, don't look at that. Where's everyone going? Bingo? There. Look at my outlet on the wall. It's not a beach, though. Also, guys, um, Dagger, thank you for the shout-out earlier. Appreciate you, buddy. If you don't follow, let the Dagger fall TV. Super chill streamer, does a lot of Silent Hill. Um, usually live when I'm working, so it's a nice calm for me. Uh, Dova Pig, thank you for the follow. Rating your channel was more than I could ever imagine last night. It was super fun. You have a lot of fun clips and a cool culture to your stream. Uh, Sophie, thank you for the follow. Actually, they're anonymous, so I'm going to hold off on saying those. I knew I was good saying those two, though. That's fine. Yeah, guys, anonymous follows. Dead Rising, I wanted to play it when Vulcan could actually watch at least some of it because he bought me the game so sweetly. So I was going to do it next Saturday, but apparently that's his rare once a Saturday a month to work. I can play it tomorrow. Wait, you're streaming tomorrow, right? I can play it tomorrow. I just wanted to do it on a day where I could stream longer to actually get it done because... On weekdays, I pretty much can only stream from 6 to 9 or so. And I start at 6. Oh, you stream. And I start at 6. That's what I'm saying. So I was going to do a special stream next Saturday. I work Saturdays, so I still have to. I work Saturdays. <sighs> so... Next Saturday, I know. So next Saturday, guys, don't tell my job, but I was going to call out because I finally have some sick time. Um, wait, let me... I sh oh, shit, I should have checked my... There's a, there's a few people that follow me that I work with, and one of them is a manager. Okay, we're good. We're good. But I was going to call out next Saturday. And then I was going to do a longer stream, but Vulcan has to work this one Saturday a month. I don't know. Hope you're all well, though. Welcome in. I'm Starfish. We're going to be doing a first playthrough of Clock Tower. Or I could do it tomorrow, but it'll be at 6. Whenever I have exams, I do not stream during the weekends because my exams are usually Monday or, and or Tuesday. I see. Oh, yeah, because you guys are probably making more, like, Halloween decorations and stuff, right? So what do you have to do one Saturday a month in October, November, and December? Ugh. What did you guys eat to today, by the way? I just had some uh, turkey burgers, two of them. Some salt and vinegar chips. And now some hot chocolate and another one of these berry things. You can see the game in the reflection. You, all you ate was coffee? You are a true fucking student. All you ate was coffee. You gotta be kidding me. Coffee works better when you don't eat. Like, 
from from about 17 to now up until a few months ago i i drank coffee every morning with no food pure octane baby they decide the week or the week before oh that sucks they decide that week or the week before and there's no getting out of it had a had a jacket potato with cheese and beans and dippers then a few hours later have a cheese and ham toasty oh wow let's go cheese and and ham toasty <laughs> what you gonna be eating buddy my does my voice sound okay in relation to the music are we good I think we got it sorted now. It's actually kind of quiet now. This is my entrance music to my uh, my wrestling matches. Chip shop chips, but I said nah, I'm good. Get some raisin canes. We don't have any near me. They're in like the next state. Dude, congrats, though. I'm, I'm proud of you, man. You've been hustling. I know you've already studied in the past, but you've just been killing it. Full-time student, and you're doing really challenging classes, so give it up for Belkito, guys. That's sick. Just told us that if we work every day next week, 7th through 13th, we get an attendance point back. Oh, four out of 12 attendance points. So do you get an attendance point even if you call out sick? I guess you do, right? If you use sick time, I mean. Damn, work culture is so different in different states. I feel like Delaware is very chill. Unless you, I guess unless you work for like a, a local business. Your company is like locally owned, right? It's not a big group of businesses. If I'm slow at typing today, it's because I hurt my palm on the right hand. Please, take care of your hand. Don't feel like you need to rush the chat. It's just okay. Locally owned, but owned by the second richest man in the world. Who's the second richest man in the world? Oh, I, I love hot chocolate. Oh, really? Warren Buffett owns that one-off company? Compared to Louisiana Chicken Places, Cane's is like a 7 out of 10, but they're always consistent and always cleaned. Is that why you choose that place sometimes? It's just like, you just even though it's a 7 out of 10, which is solid, and you might be able to get better somewhere, it's always a 7 out of 10. And the prices are probably good, too. Called up the... Called up the school. We're trying to get me back in, but they keep putting her on hold. So we we'll haven't heard anything. Ah, oh, that sucks. I wonder why. Okay. Should we get this game going? All right, cut the music. Hi, everybody. We're going to be playing Clock Tower for the very first time. Let me just turn my camera now. You all know that I love Resident Evil, and when you Google, what game should I play if, if I like Resident Evil? Ah, Captain Dino, my boy. If y'all don't follow the captain, please do. That's right, this is Clock Tower 2. It is the first Clock Tower released in the U.S. Yeah, I can't afford to get foot again. No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. 
Guys, do follow Captain Dino. Giant scissors once again search for prey. The trail of terror stretches across Europe from Norway to England. Captain, thank you for the 30 bits, buddy. Please do give him a follow. And sorry to disappoint the, the smarty pants in the chat, but I think I did at least link it correctly to Twitch. Is that right? The first clock tower on SNES was not released in the U.S., and it has a fan patch in English. This was the first game released in the U.S., and one that I actually saw in my life. So I'm starting with this one. Accept it. Haven't played this before. Probably going to lurk us sorting some stuff out. You're good, buddy. Thank you for the 30. Guys, do give Captain a follow. Really good guy. Fellow teammate. And runs a really solid stream. All right, guys. I'm going to need help because... Uh... There we go. We'll play it then. Okay. I'm going to need help. I'm going to need help. Yeah, Meg, I haven't played it. I just saw it as a kid. Professor Professor what on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. Look at those 1996 video game place. boobies. Fellas, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. Thank you. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one How's thing, Falcon? You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. Better now, Meg. So this is a point-and-click kind of game, and I can see that we're moving with the D-pad, and... Oh, I didn't realize it was made by Capcom. Sick. I saw, I saw that one around, but I never played it. I'm so far in the game, I figured we'd do a save really quick. Awesome. And then we just start clicking shit, yeah? There is a memo stuck between... Wait, you found hint one. The text moves really quick. Check that cabinet. Hmm, there is a faint smell of ammonia. That's not good. So there's not usually like multiple things in one cabinet, right? Because it's kind of bringing the thing over here. A giant pair of scissors is on. They are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer. Oh, shit. Scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower. There are, there are like the, these are like the weapons he used to slash up his victims. Yikes. Yeah. I'd be concerned. The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. 
Jennifer Simpson. Oh, wait. I have to get information out of her for future profiling. Oh, man. Did I get everything in this room now? For future profiling materials. Is this game really challenging? Like the puzzles and stuff? I like the vibe already. It kind of looks like an indie game that would be made today. I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Research. The staff is still here. We are cruising now. Which one's your favorite in the series, guys? Helen's Desk. Hello. It's funny that it came out for consoles because it feels like a computer game. Clip that articles of the clock tower. Story are scattered. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. You never played this one? A newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? Oh. A statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. It seems to be hidden, hiding some sort of... It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Okay. Really? Yeah, it seems like it would work even on a Super Nintendo, you know? Doesn't seem like it takes much to run the game. The little fax machine. Helen's desk. Don't want to go there. There's nothing over here, right? Nothing out this window? What's that? It's just hitting you hard, that fax noise? That's the sound of corporate. A stuffed animal. Looks like a prize won at a fair. Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. All right, let's roll. I know that old school printer with the uh, the holes on the sides of the paper, and it prints very long sheets. something I need to do in here. Well, at least they tell me. Back when I was a local community, at a local community center where there was a computer that ha had postal on it. Oh, that's sweet. My special ed class in elementary school, my teacher had one of those types of printers. It is weird, isn't it? The rubber mask kind of sold in a cheap novelty shop and seems to be it's kind of like a, a visual novel Meg almost like Doki but not at all people certainly buy stupid things is that it <laughs> I'm reading text a lot it's like Doki a point and click adventure guys what did I miss get an expert opinion on. Are you the expert? Sam and Max or Monkey Island point and click adventures? We gotta get out of this room. I guess what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. 
Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Yes, yes, you're right. Okay, we got that. Jennifer they're referring to is modeled after Jennifer Jennifer Connolly from Labyrinth fame. Really? And they use the same name. Sensalize, sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't even exist. Well, that's good. He doesn't exist. She literally just looks like her, eh? Now are we good? Yeah! Alright, there you go, Meg. No more printer sound. No! I thought I was going to click on myself to hear my inner thoughts. They're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? That's how I am at work. I just walk around in different rooms and don't do anything. Uh, should we go left or right? Right looks interesting. Jackpot. Our office sounds like we're walking through a car garage. You get to play as Jennifer in Clock Tower 1, eh? A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. Oh, sick. So that's going to be the uh, the OG. Is that right? Thank you. I'll have to check that out. Have they changed anything with it? See, th you can actually click on people multiple times and get different responses. He's always so gloomy. I think that's what happened in the previous room. He's top-notch, though. That's for sure. But then... Got anything else to say, bub? She's all... Okay. It gave us the same thing the third time. Complete remake of the original game release. Internationally and all. I... Well, with the atmosphere being so iconic, like you were saying, hopefully they don't mess with that too much. He's always so gloomy. He's top-notch, though, that's for sure. But then... Okay, we gotta get to the first floor. There's the elevator. Okay. The game moves pretty quick, though. Like, it's not too sluggish. I know, right? Meg, this is just like Doki Doki, but in 1996. Okay, we can't go that way. Yeah! Run, baby! <laughs> this is just like Doki Doki. So is this. Listen to how Belkito and Vulcan talk about this game. It's a work of art. Well, not this game. The first one. There we go. You hear that? He's clicking that button with force. Absolute force. It was a huge snake. And also, poison, I got bitten by a snake. <laughs> there you go. Great timing, guys. It's like you planned it. Was that sound really loud for you guys? Watch the trailer for Rewind. You'll you'll love the vibe. All right. Kedzy! Can we get a shout-out for Kedzy, please? Welcome in, sir. How, how was your week? See, I don't actually know how to turn down the sounds that, that play locally on my computer. He's not at church right now, dude. There's no fucking way he's at church right now. Kedzie's very funny. He was playing Rust the other day, and it was, uh, 
Amazing. If you guys play Rust, if you enjoy Rust, he is a great streamer. That She's already gone home. Was there something you... Yeah, that's the guru. That was the guru, Kedzie. The shout-out guru. Week was good. Went really fast, to be honest. Nice. Yeah, just don't follow Vulcan. He hates followers. He's top-notch, though. That's for sure. Have you ever played this game, Kedzie? Clock Tower? Wait, did I even go upstairs? I didn't even go upstairs. I'm back with this bozo. It's from 1996. It's the second game in the series. If you don't specify that, a few chatters will uh will get on you. Kyle, this is how I imagine you at your office, clumping around, clicking buttons super hard. Wait, didn't they didn't she say he was on the first floor? Well, we can't go to the second. Okay. I guess we're on the second floor right now. Vulcan is top notch because he learned I learned everything from him. And I mean everything. Wait, get out. There we go. Oh, I got it. Can you, Belkito, can you put a link to the... Wait. I, w I hate how it scrolls the text. And this is Tim, my cameraman. Tim's looking beefy. Yeah. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it, br please keep it brief. Kedzie knows Tim. Oh, sorry. Could you um, can you link it to the Discord so I can watch it after? Yo, Tim is looking beefy, my friends. I love it. I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Yes, we're all learning. We are all learning. I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Do you mean the victim that's testicles? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, nothing really. It's just that she s we saw her eating hot dogs last night and leaving a few minutes ago. Damn, I just missed her. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. What did change? I don't know. See? This game's ripping right now. I do, too. What do you mean, what changed, Vulcan? The Berber. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. Stop taking pictures of me, Tim. That mon I didn't consent. Oh. Yeah, what did change? You were you were hating this game. Now we got a mystery on our hands. That monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man, and whether he really exists or not. I hope he doesn't exist, but he's on the cover, so that's it. That's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. <laughs> yes, that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch. That hurts. I'm going to keep poking his butt. Not much I can say to that. The printer in this game is Richard. That's right. She did say she hated the printers. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Oh, wait, I know how to turn those down. It was a huge snake. But I'm not going to do it now because it takes too long. Whew. 
Anyway, it's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murderer weapon. I got cut. I almost got cut by scissors today at work. I dropped them off the table and they cut some leg hair off me. We're just dealing with some old screwballs. Where's everyone going? Bingo? But she, she was scared. She thought she was something. Speak his name and he appears. Richard, Richard, Richard. I'm in pain. <laughs> Let me not hear his voice, please. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't be as... Damn. Fuck Tim. I have to get back to the lab. He's supposed to be a young boy, about 10 years old. All right, guys, let's go back to the lab. It's a tough day at the office. I, get, I need to get a cup of coffee. This is ridiculous. How can some sick bastard take a pair of scissors and want to want to hurt people like that? I know this is the coffee office. I'd I'd be blowing up the uh, the bathroom trying to solve these mysteries. Oh, there's for sure free coffee here. And there's birds, apparently, in the office, so that's kind of cool. Run, buddy. We're in. Using the Cadillac. <laughs> when Kyle says the Cadillac, Kedzie, I mean. Kedzie's referring to the handicap stall at workplaces. It's much larger, roomier. There's still something I need to do in here. Oh, this is the lab? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert. Jump in the Cadillac, girl. Let's put some miles on it. Exactly. Kedzie puts a lot of miles on the Cadillac at his work. Let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower, Murders, is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Let's go. This guy's a pimp. He, he blows up the Cadillac. The murderer. There's still something I need to do. What? This is goofy. <laughs> See, he doesn't want to go around the... It's, it's interesting. It's like Doki Doki. Our bathroom looks like a high-end fitting room. Damn. Must be nice. Our bathroom's broken all the time and looks like a... Bro, there's nothing to do here. He won't go over here. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert. Opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan library yes but there was that old butler at the borrows mansion named rick i'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything <laughs> i'm pretty sure he lives in the return the slab or suffer my curse you're really gonna curse me when i'm playing this first time game wow should we ask the, the butler? Or should we ask the, the guy in the suburbs? Yes or no, guys? I see, a, I see a yes from Meg. Should we ask Rich or no? We gotta choose your own adventure. I'm gonna say yes. 
All right, I'll ask Harris to show you. Turn the slide. It was a huge snake. I didn't know. I didn't know the stream could be cursed twice. Damn. Would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? <laughs> Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? I love this pause that happens at the end of every sentence about it. Yes, I'll go ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thank you. That's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. That's what I've been trying to do. That's what I've been trying to do. All right, let's go get our therapy on, y'all. Oh, God, it doesn't have the cap anymore. That's a problem. Thank you very much for coming. So I have a few friends who got Silent Hill 2 remake early. Oh, shit, really? I'm getting mine Sunday, but that's as early as I can get it. Got to head out. Hope this game is good to you. Me too, buddy. Guys, follow Vulcan, please. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember? I call him Edward because not having a, a name, too. They all said the same thing about it, really? Thank you. Because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Edward. How has it been 52 minutes already? I know. <laughs> this game is a slow burner. I'm, we've, we've yet to see the scissor guy. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to be on honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Er, uh, yes. This Edward looks like a punk kid. Well then, let's get started. It will not please everyone. And the closest comparison to RE1 remake. I think we got to a save point. Let's go. I know. What is with you getting hurt today? hate the murder for the number four it's just bad luck to me oh really i think i will go out for a while okay now the game's warming up i think we're jennifer now jennifer where shall i go okay should we go to um the weekly newspaper co i think we're here already the hotel the library the research building, or the staff housing. We're on, like, the pier right now. Had always been, always been so much bad luck for me. Really? I don't think I have a number like that. Three, seven, 13, and 14 are your lucky numbers. I want a physical copy of this game, and I, and I got an exam anyway, so I'm going to just wait until October 8th. How, these probably go for a lot, don't they, Belkito? If I went to the newspaper office, I would just be chased by reporters. I like it. It's just it's there's it's just nothing like any game that I played on the PlayStation. It's cool. N newspaper office. I would just be chased by reporters. Okay. I don't think she wants to go there then. It reminds me of the Sim City on uh SNES. Wonder what kind of boy he is. Wait, wasn't I here? Norway International Hotel. Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. I want the physical copy as well. I got the Steam one because it's easier to stream, but I do want the physical copy. Man, I wish they made physical copies for the PC. That'd be sweet. 
Like, you also get a Steam code, but you get a physical copy. Jennifer, is this boy Edward? Are you by chance Jennifer? Yes, I am Jennifer. I thought so. I recognize your face from all the pictures in the paper. <laughs> Edward Scissorhands, I know. What if that's who the villain is? I'm an instructor at the the Granite Orphanage? Yes, but I began after you left. Is he, what, an orphan? Yes, he is Edward. Hello, say hello, Edward. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah, it's got a history with, with Sony PlayStation, for sure. I want both. Jennifer, Edward has lost his memory from the shock of what happened. I also like playing with keyboard and mouse, so that's another reason to get it for PC. You were also involved, weren't you? Speaking with, you might jog his memory. Although, maybe you can play with keyboard and mouse on the PlayStation. I was hoping you would be able to come visit, Edward. I think you can on the Xbox. Please. Yes, that would be fine. Yeah, if you if you really figured out that it's Edward Scissorhands. Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! Meg, thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate that. Time to stretch. Thank you for the stretch. I will come as often as I can. Boy, oh, 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 Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. Appreciate that. If I went to the newspaper office, I would just be swarmed by reporters. Okay, let's try the library. Helen's mentor, Mr. Sullivan, is the head librarian. All right. Look at that. That's a nice library. Because he's 10 years old, Meg. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Did you come to check out a book? Or something? Mr. Sullivan. You're as cute as ever. How's Helen? She's fine. But she's been busy. I see. Oh, boy. By the way, I've added to my collection again. Do you want to come see? It's quite a collection of archaeological archaeological value. Uh, no, no, thank you. It would take a long time. Goodbye, Mr. Sullivan. Well, drop in for a visit anytime. We're striking out. She doesn't want to hang out anywhere. Is the cute in the room with us? Always in the room. Okay. Let's go to the research building. I will go see Helen. She should still be in her lab. Oh, I think this is where we were as that doctor. University research building. I'm loving these models. These are so cool. It just looks like a, an old ass PC game. Time to stretch. Oh, hello, Jennifer. What's up? Oh, nothing much. I just came for a little visit. Okay. Really? I'm going to be a bit late tonight. You go ahead and eat without me. Are you busy? Pink building, that's right. I've got to get it restored tonight. Oh, I see. Please leave the key in its usual place. Okay, I will. Good luck, Helen. Leave the key in its usual place. Staff housing. Someone is in the front of the house. Oh, that's... University staff housing. 
Tell me that doesn't look like a real life building right there. If you look really quickly and then look away, you would think that was a, an actual picture of a building. Tell me I'm wrong. That looked legit. Here we go. You're the reporter that came to the university yesterday, aren't you? Oh, please call me Nolan. I have been collecting information on the clock tower. Case for a long time now. Even though it is a, rea a really big case, very little of the truth is understood. This music is, uh, is hitting. As a reporter, blah, 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 yes, the truth. I'm interested in you too. Hey, what do you say to having dinner with me? No, bud. I don't care what you tell me. I just want you to talk. Are you asking me for an interview or for a date, buddy? Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, uh. That's it. Uh, both. Yes, both an interview and a date. All right, then. Tee hee. Let's go. We got ourselves a date, guys. Oh, yeah? The dog ending finna be crisp. Yeah. I think it's gonna be good, man. I know what your friends mean by, like, it's not for everybody, because there's a certain nostalgic quality to uh, old games that new games can't make you feel, you know? It's very late, and, and I don't really think they're supposed to. Someone seems to be following me. Go in there. Run! Jennifer, run! I know. I'll go in the park. That's the perfect place to go. A dark park. Oh, shit. Guys, I'm starting to get scared. What's wrong? What's wrong? Help. Someone is following me. Hmm. Some kind of weirdo? Oh! <laughs> Bro. Stop calling the people short. You think Scissor Man's a 10 year old boy? I feel so powerless in this game. I know, the sounds in this game are crazy. Hit him! Got him, guys. How about you grab his scissors? That was Edward Scissorhands, bro. I know, that, that kitty litter sound is crazy. And how every building sounds like a garage. Wait, go upstairs. God damn scissor man. She dropped the the mop. I know. We knocked his ass out. Why didn't we give him a swirly? Or at least take his scissors. Don't tell me. It's 
when you stick someone's head in a toilet and flush it. It's classic bully mentality. Classic bully behavior. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Can we look at it again? That one seems normal. Everything seems normal, apparently. Is she actually not there? Splash some water in your face, girl. Yeah, it's classic bully behavior. You stick their head in the toilet and flush. Pretty sad, right? So we should have gave his ass a swirly. <laughs> there you go, Belkito. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. But we have the, the icing on cake. Icing on the cake that is the swirly. I've never gotten one. I've never given one. I've never seen one. But they exist. And you got to go back to class all wet and everyone knows what happened. Helen's desk is very neatly. There's a key. Oh, yeah. You now have the office key. All right. It's open. Was that the, uh, the key we needed? I've had it with lying on this bed. Same, girl. Same. Patients' charts are collected here, and we can just look at them. Sweet. There are many bottles of medicine. Somebody's hiding it. I used to get bullied, and it was always, Yo, emo, the fuck you looking at? You're so weird. Then I get shoulder barged, banged into a hallway of people when they walk past me and laugh. That's so sad. A cheap table. Damn, come after him. Is that a window or a picture? A cheap table. Alright, I don't think that, uh... That key that we picked up was for this room. If this bitch tries to come after me again, I'm going to clock him. There are stuffed animals and a spray can. A can of mace. Maybe the key is to get out of the front door. I don't know. How about that poor security man getting completely killed? There are several trading cards and small toys. They got Pokemon cards. There are many files on cases of mental illness. Yeah, my school, my high school was a trade school. So we kind of all were friends with the people that were in our shop. I was in the carpentry shop, so all my friends were in the carpentry shop. But I did have some friends. No one seems to be here. The door is locked. I did have some friends in the digital media shop, though. How's the emergency exit going to be locked? Come on. Wait, was this the office? I hope that scissor man don't show up. Yeah, okay. Alright, so all those doors are locked. I think I checked everything in this office. I checked the bathroom. That's the stairs we came down on. There's the elevator. How about this door? 
We're in. Show up at a Hello Kitty PJs. And the most emo make it, mo makeup. Because we wear whatever in America, right? Uh, unless your school has a dress code. I was kind of a scene kid in school. No! That's Eddie. I'm saving right now. Yeah, that's true, Belkito. It is kind of uh, a lot dependent on where you live. But in a small town... Go! Go, please! Jennifer, please. Jennifer, please. Please, please, please. Go, go, go. happening go <laughs> fucking scissor man <laughs> oh my god i feel vulnerable in this game dude because you have to do this awkward click run away I wanted to check out this room. You know he was hiding something good in here. What the hell? You were just downstairs, bro. No! Brother, he lives in this room. Fuck that. Take the stairs. Don't smile like that, Meg. I'm scared for Jennifer's life right now. The music's sick, by the way. Jennifer, please, girl. He's coming! Are they favoring sobriety or drink, not drink? Are they still doing drugs? I'm fucked. Yeah, don't drink, kids. dead. God damn it. He got us, guys. We just got scissored. Oh, we just got scissored. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Chaos, Meg. Oh. 
Don't start me here. Let's go. This, this man, this hunchback, scissor wielding man. Those are some tools, but they this might be useful. You now have oil can. Anything else? He doesn't check very much. He's just like, nope. There must be some food crumbs or something. The corner of this box is covered with ants. There's nothing strange inside. I want something I can defend myself with. Me too, girl. That was underwhelming. I was scared shitless. Maybe just maybe the scissor man is a rabbi and he's coming for you. Yeah, maybe. Cut the cut the weenie. Or something that <laughs> the corner of the box is covered with ants. That's an interesting um, theory. It could be. We can't discount any theories. Haunting ground, huh? Is it a point-and-click adventure? With complex charts and graphs. There doesn't seem to be anything inside. Okay, I think we're good. We got the oil can. I do enjoy this, but I'm also concerned I'm going to get stuck. The room appears to be the laboratory, but the door is locked. I'm sure Helen's laboratory is on the second floor. We've been there already. Could you imagine? Choppy choppy the pee pee. It could be, Belkito. It could be. He seemed eager. No sign of scissor man. Oh, that's cool. I like the point and click style, but it is a little it's uh just tough to get away. I am visually impaired. I'm blind in my left eye, and I have issues with sight in the right eye. But I'm also playing it as a first-time playthrough. Me. But welcome in. Oh, oh no! <laughs> but yeah, Scott, this is uh, I've never seen this game. I I play Resident Evil. Half blind, and then in my right eye, it's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, the first playthrough, have never seen this game. I know nothing about it. <sighs> this is the U.S. version. The second one, I guess. It's just called Clock Tower. But the second one. Are you familiar with the game? Do you Have you played it? The ladder key? What is this, the, like the back of a piano? Oh, partition. Yeah, Japan's Clock Tower 2, US Clock Tower 1. You played the original SNES version, I think. Oh, gotcha. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, so it's technically the second in the series, but it's the first US one. I wonder what happened, the chair is knocked over. You know what this game is making me think of? You know the episode of Boy Meets World, like the ha the horror one, where there's like a killer in the school, with uh, I think it's with scissors, or uh, or somebody gets killed with scissors, and it ends up being Eric. The telephone's dead. Choppy choppy choppy. choppy. But yeah, Scott, did you enjoy the uh, the original on SNES? Belkito was telling me about 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? We got a dip, guys. Scissor man. You think it's great? Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's cool as well. This style of game. It doesn't even budge. We got a ladder key. You got a theory already. Let's go. Oh, shit. Go, girl. Got him. <laughs> Sean, there you go. I don't know the, the yeah, girl. This is interesting. Not only have I never played this game, I've never played a game like this. Never played a point and click adventure. Just visual novels. How'd you see me, bro? I saw that Valkito, yeah. The, uh... Said it was... Sean, yeah. Good episode, though. It scared me as a kid. It did scare me. Wait, can you hide behind the stairs? I'm gonna say no. Jennifer, please. Jennifer, please! I'm dead. <laughs> You think that the scissor man is Richard? <sighs> Someone mentioned haunting ground. That's quite similar in terms of the hiding mechanics. Yeah, Belkito did. Referring to it as like, a, as like a hybrid. Stop going that way, girl. Please. Dead end. Oh, we've been here before, I think. Oh, we tried to go here, but he, he was always here. I need to get me a weapon. I feel like there's going to be something in this room. This guy's a psycho. Oh my gosh, man. Look, Meg, there's the printer. A copier with a built-in fax machine. You could probably hide in here, right? Some handbags and umbrellas. It's locked. There's nothing inside that would be useful. So if you hid and he goes away, what are these doing here? A pair of underpants is hanging up to dry. Yeah. oh You say nothing's as good as Leon, huh? There's no sign of anyone. Oh, the fax tone rings. Hello? It's gonna be a picture of Scissor Man's butt. The undies are hanging up to dry. Has anybody ever hung their, their undies up to dry in their locker at work?
Meg says no. I go to like, or I haven't been in a while to be honest, but I have a gym with a pool there. Someone is sending a fax from them. The writing is weak and unsteady. I'm coming to get ya. <laughs> I'm coming to get you, Barbara. Oh Lord. Could he know that we're here? Never had a locker. Coming to get you, Barbara. It was, for sure, Night of the Living Dead vibes. Please help me. Hello. You have reached Helen. Helen, please help me. I'm not home right now, but please leave a message after the tone. You're not even going to leave a message? Come on, girl. I'm trying to get out of here. My axe is very tiny, and in a year, in year seven, we're dating. He climbed into a locker that's about the size of a tor of my torso, and was able to close him in. Was he stuck there all day? Okay, I don't think there's anything else here, guys. What do you think? And one of them's locked. So let's kind of keep that in the back of our mind. There's a, a locked one. And nothing here, right? Various documents on the desk. Okay, I think we got it all. When Jennifer knocked him down, she should have grabbed the scissors. And I know. Like, that's our first mistake. Come on. You literally hit him with a broom. Knocked his ass down. You're not going to grab his scissors. They look really boring, huh? There should be a room in the back, but it's too dark to see. I already went there. There isn't anything that seems useful. A sofa. There's a small shoe. There's small shoe prints on it. He was able to get out. <laughs> Skipping class, huh? That's bad. Stay in school, kids. This is locked, right? Nope. Oh. This must be Helen's office. There are many files. We got a key here. Several trading cards. I think this door is locked. How about this? What's this? A trash can. Maybe we could hide there. All right, let's try the next floor. This is the second floor. Let's go up to three. Oh, thank you for uh, redeeming Pet the Starfish. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to dial in. That's right. There might even be a fourth floor. We're locking in. We're locking in. I'm just scared is all. Of the scissor man. I 
I think this is the room with that box. Oh no, new new room, new room. He was here before, and we couldn't check it. A plain, simple table. There are personal computers on the table. Rio! Boinky! How are you, Rio? Give Rio a follow, y'all, if you don't already. Chasing that affiliate dream. What the fuck? <laughs> you glitched it. Just got home from the vape shop. What was that game? I might break it if it if I touch it. There isn't anything that might be useful. So you're telling me this room's useless. What was that game, Rio? Oh, steep. Okay. You glitched that shit out. I like snowboarding games. Ever since the cool border ones. There's also one that's like four letters. It's like SFSW or something. Yeah, have you seen this game, Rio? I'm not very good at computers. Okay, I don't think there's shit in here for us. SSX. That's right. You gotta realize that I cannot recall shit well. But wasn't there a game that had four letters like that? SFSW? I can't recall shit. I thought Scissorman was in there. Riders Republic. No, I've only played uh, Cool Borders 1 through 3. And then whatever that game is called that has the, the letters. It might have been SSX. But I thought it was like SFSW. That could also be a radio station. The door is locked. I thought I had a key to the lab. Did you beat the game? It's pretty cool. What's the other game that's kind of like Resident Evil? There's, there's like a heads up life bar and stuff. PS1 game. Survival horror. Kind of sci-fi. Not alone in the dark. It's something else. Bunk bed. Parasite Eve. That's it. Yep. How's that one? No one is using them. Bunk beds for napping. Guys, we need a clue. We got oil right now. Half an hour of it. How was that half an hour? I know. These are beds. They're for sleeping. I need... There's no one walking around outside. I think we got to go to the fourth floor. I do, yeah. I do. I speed run the first game. I and I I played the second game. Um and I pre-ordered the remake. I don't know much about the entire series. I just know about the first two. There's something written here. Oh, we got a clue. You have discovered hint 3. Okay, let's go to the fourth floor cuz we have a ladder key and we have oil. Are you a fan of Silent Hill as well, Scott? Resident Evil is my main thing I play. Three and four at least are also worth playing, I think. Yeah, I, I watch a couple streamers uh, that play it. Arclay Ranger. 
it, he he was playing through all of them, and let the dagger fall. TV plays Silent Hill very consistently. I yeah, I hear Homecoming's not very good. Do you stream as well, Scott? <clears throat> Did we check this back already? He's gonna be in here one day. He's gonna say, gotcha, bitch. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, hopefully you come back to it one day. I know, Resident Evil is my king, but, you know. I like branching out a little bit. Especially during Startoberfest, we gotta try all kind of spooky shit. I just signed up for Keymailer to see if we can get any free free codes. Do you guys know about Keymailer? If you're a streamer, you can um, you can link your, your YouTube and social media and Twitch, and you could potentially get um, some free codes for games. For Sally Face, huh? I know. That's what you were saying. Oh, God. Go up the stairs, please! Tell me this is a dead end. Is this a dead end? It's a dead end. Oh, man. How are they going to... Let's just try it again. An emergency ladder. How did that not work before? Wait, I have the key. I found the ladder key. And why did none of these Why did none of these doors work when I was uh running from the scissor man? We love Richard on this stream. All right, am I tripping or did you guys remember me picking up a ladder key? I did that, right? Where's everyone going? Bingo? Ladder key, bro. Oh, do you have to use it? Okay. I did not realize that. Exclamation point, Meg. I hate Richard. It would be like that. Okay, here we go. This has to work, right? From way up here, is it safe? I'm used to Resident Evil just doing it for you. I think we're out of this hole, guys. Oh my fucking god, I hate Richard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this these sounds are crazy right now. Yeah, there's the kitty litter. Belkito, there's the kitty litter. 
three is my favorite in the series. Three Nemesis, the original. Scenario one is cleared. I think it's time for a disco party. Hit it! We haven't even solved the last case yet, and now another mass murder? Yeah, didn't that dude kill like two security guards there? And again, and, and the person that was in the bathroom. And again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster? That was that kitty litter, bro. It's true. I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissor Man is back. Jennifer. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now and rest. We posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be safe. Thank you, Inspector. I say it's Edward, because they're both short. Now, this is an old-ass man with a hunchback. Edward's back was straight as an arrow, and he's 10 years old. Never played the OGs 2 and 3, only the remake. So I might prefer them over remake if I play them. Maybe. They're, they're totally different. So it's like, if I didn't play the originals and then I went back and played them, I'd like the remakes more. I just like the originals because they're really nostalgic for me. Um, and there's cool things about them for sure, but I think the remakes are, are probably better. I know, it's the damn Hunchback of Notre Dame with scissors. That's your, that's your killer. Like, the glass slipper fit. It's a silhouette of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I have the VHS. Do I need to grab the VHS to compare it? Because I will. Yeah, Meg. When are you going to be streaming again? October 7th or 8th? 8th? Um, your fave Meg and Rio are trying to become affiliates, so feel free to give them a follow and uh, support them on their streams. They have to get their viewer count up to three. Assistant Inspector. Jennifer, Highland, it's true. What are you guys going to be eating for dinner, y'all? I know people criticizing RE3 Remake, at least for missing content from the original. Yeah, I think RE3 Remake's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, it's it's missing quite a bit. And the, the Nemesis encounters are very predictable and canned. Um, and RE3 OG... He kind of follows you in some additional rooms and stuff. It's just a little more anxious. It feels a little more like how Mr. X is in Resident Evil 2. Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some, 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 sorry, some way to destroy him. We can do it. Yes. Have any of you played the, like, OG Alone in the Dark? This kind of reminds me of that. What if I told you that you're incorrect about how Nemi works in RE3 OG? Oh, I, 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 uh, don't bother. It's all good. Um, th it is predictable where he shows up, but he can follow you f into different rooms after that happens. Um, nice. It's very, very well made remake. Yeah, I think so too, for sure. Okay, Jennifer, what should, what should I do now? We did the staff housing. Research building? Yeah. Whereas in 3 Remake, it, it just it doesn't feel that way. He just feels like he shows up where he does and and you run off and that's kind of it. I don't know. It feels different. 
I wonder if Helen is here. But I I liked uh Yeah. I actually like the remake though. I think it's fun, but it doesn't have those special vibes. I like the intro, how it starts, but I don't like how you have to just kind of run down a hall away from him, you know? It's a whole conversation, but I think it's still a fun game. Three's cool, I think. How do you feel about it, Belkito? Hi, Jennifer. You can't. You came just in time. I was just on my way out. Where are you going? Do you remember that statue? No. The one they found at the scene of the clock tower? Murder? <laughs> Four is really fun, especially the original. Barton had it. Hmm. And Professor Barton was called away on some police business. I 1,000% I agree with you. Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the, on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get in expert opinion on the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. Oh, really? Are you streaming that? Anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to go get it. I want, I want anything and everything relating to Scissor Man. <laughs> you think it's Rick from Dino Crisis? <laughs> That'd be too sick. With this game predating it by three years and Rick shows up here, let's go. And then this game eventually becomes a Capcom game. Who is Nolan? Ah, mm hmm. Well, I'd better run along now. Did you see my Leon edit I posted in the Discord last night? I was reading through some of it. I didn't read it all. It was unhinged. The little POV of being on a date with Leon was out of control. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I like that you called it a sabbatical. That sounds more official. There's no reason to go to the library. Okay. I thought we just visited her, but I guess it'll let us do it again. Yeah. Yeah. POV, date with Leon, is just too crazy. No one's here. Oh, yeah, because we just talked to her and she left, girl. Okay, and then we were just at the university. Isn't that where the whole, the whole uh, scissor man thing happened? Let's try the hotel. I wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by scissor man. I eventually want to go for no damage, Jill's diary, all bosses. Sheesh. No damage in that's crazy. Three no damage is crazy. And K were attacked by Scissor Man. I want to try no damage. Uh, no damage three. Not all bosses. Jill's Diary though. Norway's International Hotel. Okay. I wonder if our boy Edward's there. A.K.A. The Killer. Two and four remakes, remakes will be great. Capcom have been making good quality remakes lately. If you're looking for an OG RE experience that isn't too old, I'd recommend trying RE1 Remastered for RE Remake on GameCube if you want it truly OG. Yeah, I agree. It's a really great game. Jennifer, I know there's no one here. Scott, thanks for being here and, and, um, and uh, joining in on the chat, by the way. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. OG is cool. I mean, the, um, the remake of 1 is, is really cool. But OG is just too special to my heart. I hope Nolan is there. Oslo Week Newspaper Company. Dude, I fucking love the little uh, images of the buildings. These are sick. 
Honestly, just play them all. That's how I feel. That's right. For Resident Evil, I, I play them all. <laughs> Except for Zero. Fuck Zero. But I added some mods so you could do the, um, the save box. And I added the trainer so I can just put whatever weapon I want in my hand. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had hard, a hard time finding you. No two games are the same. Yes, I know if it's hard to believe. I believe you. And guys, we're streaming every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, doing some survival horror stuff. Um, first time playing this game. I have no experience with it. And it's been a lot of fun. The police still think it was the same nutcase. Is there anything I can do? I have a Leon mod that made it so Leon was wearing a crop top. That's too crazy. That's your princess right there. Nah, RE0 is whack. Um, it's cool in some ways, and it should have been a two-player game. I think he's involved in the clock tower case. And some of the areas of the game are super boring to me. And I hate those monkeys. He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. I ran into him. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. You mean the one they found at the scene of the murder? Yes, I want every little clue relating to this. Let me be wrong, damn it. Let me be wrong. Okay, should I get the... Fuck. All right, I'll go see him and get it. Well... Do you want to ask Nolan? Guys, do we want to ask Nolan? I'm about to say no. Screw Nolan. Thank you for offering, but Helen is looking. Too late, I said no. We said yes last time, and Scissorman came for our ass. If we should go ask Nolan. Thank you, Nolan. Or something like that, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Oh, scenario two, Edward. Here's your boy, Meg. Edward. Here we go. Scenario two. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan? He is now in the head library. In the head librarian's office. I see, thank you. I'm going to go barge in now. Nice library. The weird thing about the eliminators is that there is that there does exist some key art where they have tails and appear more monkey like. Oh, really? How about the, the crazy-ass gorillas in 1.5 that never made it? Okay, let's go to the head office. This must be it. Actually, you know what? This library is not as nice as I thought it was. It's super small. They really were weird. I could see why they just didn't fit and they removed them. And then we kind of got them in Outbreak 2, I think. The reading room, it cannot be entered without a key. Okay. I bet the office is upstairs. Let's go. I wonder what I was supposed to do with the um, oil can in the previous scenario. Hello, Mr. Sullivan. Hello, Helen. It has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. 
by the way, Mr. Sullivan, there's something you would like, is there something you'd like to research? I will give you a key to the reading room so you can use the reference materials. Let's go. As you please. The reading room is, is the uh, right next door, is right next door. Oh, and the statue? Yes, that's it. Mostly chill, but yes, most apes, especially chimps and baboons, fuck humans up. They don't know their own strength. How about that uh, documentary on HBO about that? However, I do not recall Professor Barton leaving it with me. But I will look into it so you might stop by on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Wait, what's this door? Nice office, though. Damn. Wish I had an office like that. All right, so we're going to go to the reading room, guys, and then we're going to pop back to Mr. Sullivan and see what he thinks about the statue. Jackpot, baby. Jackpot. The reading room. There are many valuable works here, only available to the university personnel. I just hope there is something here that will explain the Scissor Man. This is the perfect October game, guys. A step ladder. A step ladder. Damn, do they show a lot of crazy shit on there? This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect October games are Doki Doki, Yan Sim, and Sally Face. And this one. Yeah, they go nuts, baby. And then people are trying to play with them and shit. Wanting to read for a long time. But this is this is hardly a good time. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta learn how to play this song. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Step ladder? I hardly knew my real ladder. It does have that exorcist vibe. Yeah, you guys both nailed it. Da, da, da. Can I not do anything with this? I checked all the sections, bro. Climb the ladder. Yeah, isn't, isn't the legit song like 40 minutes or something? This is a book I've been wanting to read. Yes. Yeah, dude, that's nuts. And then just a snippet of it became an iconic horror movie song. Am I missing something? Doesn't seem to be in this area. In this area, we just get the stepfather, I mean the stepladder.
And this one, she says that she can't, she doesn't have time to read it. Okay, let's just leave then. You still have more research to do. That's something different. Yeah. Meg, look, look. Books are related to England here. That's right. Okay, this game is screwy, man. Come on. Lords of Northern England. This is it. This is lit, she said. Excuse me, but the library will be closing. Okay, I got the key from the big boss. I see. This gives me a clue about Scissor Man. Books are lit, Richard. <laughs> I should leave soon. Okay. Let's go. You know what? This is a nice library. Nice. The, ch the clock is chiming. Is he about to get killed, bro? Please don't die. Helen. It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I'd say. I think I will go have a look. No, don't do it. Don't do it. like the RE2 clock. What? Why would you stick? <laughs> Bro, why would Mr. Sullivan stick his head out there? I'll just stick my head out there and take a look. Why would he do that? Watch this dumb ship be locked. It's not locked. Dude, the chop man didn't even get him. He got chopped by the clock. I know. These scissors are like the jaws of life. I don't get it. I do not get it. Hello? Am I good now? <laughs> I know, Meg. It's like we just hid behind the only thing that you could stand behind. And he's like, ah, she's gone. Of course, the shit's locked. Check behind here again. He's not smart because he's a 10 year old kid named Edward. We're in. All we had. Guys, if you're ever chased by a giant ass man with scissors and a hunchback, just hide behind the reception and you'll be fine. A rather primitive copier. Why is she dunking on their copier? 
they're obviously having Okay, they having money issues. Let's check the lockers. Files line the shelves. It always feels like I'm missing something because it's kind of odd to click on certain things. Like in the library looking for that specific book. A calendar is hanging on the wall. Today isn't Friday the 13th. Why they gotta scare us like that? Thank you all for being here with me in my first playthrough of this. A clerical desk is in perfect order. That's right. I'll bet everyone has gone home. Why did our boy have to die by getting shot by a clock? Okay, I don't think there's anything here. Let's leave. We gotta go back to the library section. But there's barely anywhere to hide. The guy died in a clock tower. The scissor man didn't even kill him. He was just doing some dumb shit. Let me stick my head out of this clock. It's true. There needs to be at least one death by a clock. Okay, let's go through and take a look. What the hell? Seriously, man. Hey, <laughs> oh, time to do the old high behind the desk trick. He's going to see us, guys. Hi, girl. Come on. No way this trick's going to work again. The guys at the club said to stick my head through the hole. I'll give it a try. You think Choppy Choppy Man's a beta? Okay, let's go try again. I'm sure he's gone by now. Scott, it worked again, man. The old hide behind the desk trick. This place is a mess now. It doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a moment ago. I know. What the hell's going on? We'll take it, though. The smile of the model on the cover looks fake. Fake ass. Blood. Let's hope it's not Chris's blood. I don't have time to read these books. Well, I don't know, girl. Everything could be a clue. Wait, no, just go here. Bingo. Look, I know where to run. That's Edward's voice, see? Edward, bro. The killer. I'm running right back to reception if he chases me. Maybe Edward's under here, like Sherry. 
event. If we're only a little bigger, I might get through. We need Edward for that. Just like Sherry Birkin. There are many references materials. Okay, let's get out of here, because we know this room don't got shit. Where do you guys think Edward is? Edward is a short. Edward is short. Yeah, Edward can go right through that vent just like Sherry Birkin. Let's check this. Oh, it said, um, if only the vent were bigger. So that's why I think Edward might be able to go through. There are many books about archaeology on the shelf. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan. I know. Scott, that's that's what I thought it said too. Like if only if only I were a little bigger, I could fit through that small vent. I'm like, "What?" There are envelopes of documents. She really is screwed up. Documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of those envelopes is Professor Barton. Helen, I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there's anything else. Check the trash can. Let's let's look through his dirty laundry. Like those wet panties hanging in that locker. The personal computer, the image of Mr. Sullivan struggling at the keyboard comes to mind. I don't know what computers are, damn it. Let's check this room. I bet Edward's here. The collection room. It cannot be entered without a key. Alright, we gotta... Maybe we have to search his dead body upstairs to get the key. Oh! Bingo! Wait, is this the collection room? See, why didn't it give me that key before, bro? This game scares me. Now I can enter the collection room. Jackpot. We are in. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places of which he is very proud. You might want to check out Silent Hill Shatter Memories at some point. Kind of cool with the psychological uh, profiling mechanic. What, what system is that on, Scott? I'll check it out. But this time, it is pitch dark inside. Is there a PC version? Oh, okay, I know that game. You can't actually, there's no combat. I have a Wii. I do have a Wii. There's no combat though, right? You're just running and using a flashlight and hiding and stuff. And PS2. I could emulate a PS2 easily. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. And PSP, let's go. Pac-Man! No! I'm running back to reception. Dude, PSP was goaded. PSP had so many good titles. The PS3, PSP era had so such a good online catalog, man. Shit. God damn it. There's nothing here. Kill me. I knew I should have went to reception. God damn it. This place has, the library has one place to hide. Oh shit, they brought us here. We're gonna walk right through them. There's literally nothing in here. There's no... There's no tool?
Is there no way to get around him when there's a... Uh... But yeah, PSP is a PlayStation Portable. A handheld PlayStation console that was that played legit ass games there's nothing here I'm gonna stick my head out the hole That's right. The handheld PlayStation. All right, let's load the game. No data. You're shitting me. Oh, wait. Check the memory card. I was about to bitch at him. I got data. Yeah, like a Switch, but not touchscreen. And the uh, the games were little mini CDs that were inside of plastic carts. It was a little smaller than a Switch, though. Back in the day, we just didn't have touchscreens. This was before iPhones. Actually, I don't know. What, what year did the PSP come out? Like, 06? Yeah, the PSP is iconic. I used to watch Spongebob on that shit. Helen? Helen? Upstairs, it says. Helen? Helen. Helen? It's coming from inside that room. The PSP was sick. Edward. 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 Is he hiding in the hole? <laughs> A secret room. Oh shit. What the hell, man? 04 in Japan. Okay. Yeah, so it was before iPhone. Now everything has touchscreen. It didn't have a touchscreen, right? I'm not tripping, right? Helen? Edward. Edward. <laughs> the Vita did? Oh, yeah. What are you supposed to do here? What the hell, man? Edward. Edward. Were we not supposed to come here? Is it just a trap? Edward. I had a PlayStation Edward. TV. Edward. Go! You mean to tell me that he was able to make Edward's voice? That was Edward's voice. <laughs> Shit! <gasps> See how the cursor kind of turns purple there? I think you can mash out. It's a dead end. This place has nowhere to hide. 
Makes me sick. And it brought me back here. Ah! It had the old touchscreen keypads. But we're talking widely available. Not they existed, you know? Like, if they weren't widely available, then a PSP probably wouldn't have had one. That's what I was, like, thinking, but yeah. Some shit's just been- oh, shit. In a game console, though? can mash out. Wait, attack him. Every time I close my eyes, I see Leon. Is that healthy or not? It sounds like someone's sharpening a knife. Let's let's do the old trick. Let's hide. Edward. The first smartphone was the Simon Personal Computer Communicator by IBM. Really? What year was that? So we just learned something. We were, we were just we just learned something, guys. We can kick out of his shit just like um, in a wrestling game. You can kick out before the count of three. So let's go to that fish tank room. fish tank room. No, not here. And this time, if we see his bitch ass again, we're running to reception, because that's the move. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. Sony once added touch features to the Vita because Nintendo did it for DS. But that's usually how things work. Yeah, it, it takes someone to do something, like take that risk, for others to follow suit like that. I wonder if there's anything else. What year did the DS come out? You now have the collection room key. Okay, let's go here. Oh, four. Oh, really? That's the big chunky DS. I do. My my username, T Daddy Starfish, was created on a Connect by my friend. That's where Starfish originated on the Xbox Connect that I played one time. Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt 
and other places of which he's very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room, but this time it is pitch dark inside. Did there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. I, th I think it's still here. It didn't used to be here. It was um, an Xbox. Xbox camera thing that lets you play games. Okay, he's not here. Thank goodness the power is on here. Oh, really? Looking at them would turn an art dealer great green with envy. This level is a little different. It's like there's not any places to hide except for reception, so it's easier to get trapped. Here are all those giant stones. How were all those giant sto stone statues carried here? Girl, we don't got time to figure all this out. No need to turn off that light. Most of just dance, eh? Looking at them would turn an art dealer green with envy. I know. Doesn't really seem like there's anything here either. I can't use any of the agent swords to kill this dude. And this is the stone. I don't know how they all got here, okay? Yeah, there's nothing over here. I forget what my friend and I played on Connect when he came up with that username. Everything's normal here. So my only big clue now is this bitch is going to be up here. We know this. Operation panel, the something's written on it. Hint seven. Is there nothing here? We heard Edward here. Edward? Stick your head in that hole. All right, let's go downstairs and mess with this guy.
This was kind of weird how to get to that book. I don't think our clue is here, though. A small, rickety old desk. It's small and rickety. Oh yeah, this. I forgot to do this. Desk trick, yeah. Our only trick. You could kind of kick him, but it, I don't know exactly how to do it. He's going to catch on one of these days. We got him. We got him. Okay, maybe maybe after you look at her on the shelf, that, that's what triggers the Edward thing? Or did we already do that? I can't remember. Is her body just under that shelf right now? Red stains on the book. Is it blood? You're damn right it is, Helen. Where's Edward? I know it's gotta be something with that vent. It's gotta be something with this vent. A vent. If it were only a little bigger, I might get through. Nothing. See, it's weird. This room l just had nothing in it. Like, we turned the fish tank on, and that was it.
here we go. Oh shit. Straw, thank you for the raid. Can we get a shout out for Straw, please? What up, C? Guys, I'm Starfish. This is my first time playing Clock Tower. Straw, what were you up to, buddy? How did it go? Thank you, Belkito. Appreciate that, buddy. Bro didn't even hurt me, did it? Still on 100% health, aren't I? Shit, shit, shit. All right, Straw. Thanks for the raid. Guys, welcome in. I'm Starfish, like I said. I'm kind of stuck right now in this game. This is my very first playthrough, and we're in the second scenario, so I can tell you everything up to that. Clock Tower, or this one anyway, is a PlayStation 1 game, and it's a point-and-click survival. So we're kind of pointing around the screen to move and invest and uh, look into things. We're, we're investigating this, uh... Whew. We're investigating this killer with giant scissors, but I'm stuck as hell right now. And the only thing I know to do is to hide behind this goddamn desk. So we are stuck as a duck right now, see? So we're just clicking through. I thought it'd be fun to try out a new uh, classic survival, or not really, yeah, I guess. But we're not really surviving by catching, uh, by collecting ammo or anything. We're just kind of going through this horror game. Um, and you can't really fight back. You just kind of run and hide and kind of kick shit sometimes. What's that? I think we got a clue, guys. You're all tuning in at the perfect time. Is that you, Edward? What chair moved? Was it this one? We're looking for this little kid because we heard his voice. Budgetary problems. They're broke. How did you guys, uh, what were you guys doing in, in Straw stream? What was he up to? There's nothing that seems useful. You gotta be shitting me. Maybe it was in that back corner there. Edward, I thought you'd still be here. And shout out to C as well. Thank you for joining it's in. It's dangerous here. Come with me. No! You hide under this table uh -oh. until I call you. Hide here, boy. Be a good boy, and don't worry. We'll make it. We got him. We found our boy. Running some RE. Hell yeah. Got you, see? You're really entertaining. Edward, come here. Get into this vent. It's covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. If I could just get the screen off. Okay, so we got to find like a screwdriver or some shit, I think. All right, we're definitely getting further. We found our boy. Okay, we found our boy. Now we got to find the screwdriver. Or something that can cut the screen off. Did I see something about tools or some shit? I don't think so. I think that was in the previous scenario. This game's kind of wild. I said it earlier, but I feel very vulnerable because you can't really fight. And you got to run away with this, like, point-and-click mechanic. That is definitely a little weird to use. 
There are many books about archaeology. Yes, yes, yes. We know that, Mr. Sullivan. We know that. We need our tools. We need the tools. Oh, let's check out this room again. After we got rudely interrupted. Somehow we got to the other side of this room. How do we get over there? Or maybe it was just a bit for uh, Scissor Man that you only see. Scissor man. <gasps> what? Dude, you were just in the other room, bro. That's some cheap shit. That's cheap, bro. The music is sick. The the uh the atmosphere, the areas are cool. away from this guy. Alright, let's try that sketchy sketchy kick thing where you can kind of kick him away. <gasps> we kicked him right in his goodies. Bye, bitch. We kicked him right in the nutsack. Oh, see, we gotta find where this tool is. Go out the door, bro. Hide under the desk. There's one enemy, and it's Scissor Man. He's a murderer. A murderer! And you're playing as a couple of different people in the city, and you somehow end up in a place alone each time, and then you're just running and hiding from him. But that's all I know so far. I didn't look into the game or anything. I'm just playing it. Blind playthrough. All I know right now is we gotta find this bitch ass. Oh, that's right. That's right. The the scissor man is actually a rabbi, and he's looking to uh, circumcise all of his victims. That's the Belkito lore, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> that's
That might have to be my Halloween costume. So that's sort of our lore right now. And right now I have no idea where this damn tool is. Please, somebody tell me where this damn tool is. There's nothing that seems useful. Well, damn. Not even a clue. Hey. Man, work was so exhausting today, guys. It was... We have, like, all these online orders coming through. And it's, like, chaotic trying to sort them out. We get a lot of resellers who do name changes and shit, so we can't find it. That's all right. Work was just, like, so chaotic today, man. Ugh. There are some forms and loan cards on the table. I can't remember, Belkito. Did you watch the McMahon, Mr. McMahon doc on Netflix yet? Did we talk about that? Help! Please help. It's so weird to hear him try to defend himself. Saying that, like, Mr. McMahon is just a character, and I'm different than that. Please help. The cherry tops. You're telling me that the damn... That the damn cops can't break the fucking door open Is that what you're telling me right now that they can't bust that fucking door open Do 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 I don't think a screwdriver or a tool would be in this part. Edward should be hiding behind the table. Even if only him, he must escape from here. How noble. Events. It's covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit if he's small. He's small. the unlurk Meg please look this up for me where's the damn screwdriver there are many books <laughs> a Leon theme wallpaper the, the cops showed up in the lobby but they can't get through the door I kind of feel like it could be in here. There's an angle of the room that I can't get back to. And I don't know if it's just because of this. 
because it was a scene with Scissor Man. There's um, the lobby, the room behind, or sorry, the reception, the room behind reception, the, the, the library room with the, the, the main library room with the books, the hall, uh, a research room, an office, this room behind the office, and then upstairs. And so it's not like there's too many rooms. They're just kind of a little awkward to, to navigate sometimes. It's not the easiest style of gameplay to search a room. And we're basically looking for like a screwdriver. Cop showed up in the in the main reception, but they can't get in the room. Yeah, this is the first floor. The second floor, there isn't really anything. It's just, you go upstairs and then there's one room where the clock tower is. Where this, where this dude stuck his head through the hole and the giant clock chopped it off. think that it would be upstairs because that's where that like broken clock is that needs to be fixed so there would be tools there maybe I gotta beat scissor man's ass and steal his scissors I don't know let's try upstairs again that's the only place I feel like there would be tools so here's the second floor, C. There's just this area. And then we go over here. Maybe now that we know we need the screwdriver, it'll show it'll be visible. I found like a a hint here, but they don't do nothing. The operation panel of the clock, it's covered with rust. And that dude's body's gone.
bastard hydrate. Thank you for the hydrates. Appreciate that. Yo, someone needs to tell me where this fucking screwdriver is. Oh. Yeah, please. Please do that hydrate. Please do, see? Where's the screwdriver in... <laughs> in Clock Tower Library? Something like that. Some dumbass shit. It's not like in Resident Evil where the shit glows when it's when it's nearby. Get the screen off. I'm about to steal those scissors. Library's office. So that's where I went before. Thanks for looking that up, by the way. So that's... It's... This is the office. Hey! Let's go. That's what I love to hear. Here's the first part of the office. There are many books. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan. And he's got this desk. And there ain't shit there. There's sort of like two offices. There's this one. And then there's the one behind reception. time I was able to get sort of in the corner of this office, but I think it was just because Scissor Man was there. <sighs> Tell him we'll find it in the library's office in a drawer on the left side of the desk near the Photocopier. Okay, it's the different. It's a different office. Okay, let's go, Helen. Appreciate you looking that up. See, so it's by the side near the photocopier. You're the goat. See, thank you. Cops are pissing me off because they refuse to do anything. Open the damn door. The left side of the desk near the photocopier. Okay. So here it is. What? Okay, bro. I clicked on this desk, but let's go. The only thing I can think of, because before it said, this was a, um, this desk is very neat and orderly, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Maybe this is, uh, maybe it only shows up after you've got Eddie under the desk. And then, then you click on the vent again, and it says that it has screws. Because originally, the vent says, like, it's too small for you to get through. 
Then when Eddie's there, it says that there's screws. Oh my god. We got it, baby. You're the best, C. Thank you. Okay, so let's try this event. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. I know. <laughs> for some reason, I feel better if someone else Edward, Googles it for me. Come out from there and come over here. It's like then, then Edward, a friend just told you, you know, like, hey, outside. if I start Googling Hurry, it, <laughs> run away from then here. I feel like I'm cheating. Okay, I will. You can't use the damn screwdriver to stab this boy. S not the boy, the scissor man. Okay, I will. Shit, now what? I kind of thought that was going to be the end of the level. That's probably like the first 25% of this level. Let's try the, uh... Cutscene. The Popo. -po. Hey, Teach. What's going on? Hey, Teach. Teach. Hang in there. <laughs> hey, Teach. Hang in there. Shit. And now, without knowing. I know. That was so aggressive. All leaves have come to us. The glass smashes, and he's like, Hey, Teach, hang in there. Scissor man. <laughs> the videos are sick. This isn't the end of the game, right? Teach, hang in there. That kind of sounded Donkey Kong Country esque. There's got to be some extra endings or some shit. That part right there is Donkey Kong Country. That was cool. I I have a oh. I got a feeling there's got to be more to the game. Although we were playing for like three hours. Oh, okay. It was kind of weird for sure. Five endings, huh?
Ending ending E sounds bad. That sounds like Okay, the speed run is 51 minutes. And it only took me three hours. <laughs> You can play as Jennifer or Helen. Helen any percent. Jennifer any percent. Dude, no one's running this game. That's hilarious. The music, 10 out of 10. Come on. Jojo. Yo, C, thank you for the help. Yo, Kito, thank you for being here with, with all the facts. Meg, thank you. Scott, thanks for being here. Straw, thank you for the raid. Clock Tower Runner, okay. I saw his name on the leaderboard. It doesn't look like many people run this particular game. Um, I'm gonna go now, yeah. Well, soon. game back then even though it's so simple now probably took a lot of fucking people to make oh Vulcan's raiding us Vulcan I was about to raid you Yeah, we should, we should. Wait, you didn't run any game, Vulcan? What, were you just doing, like, just chatting for a little bit? You're right, Belkito. We got ending E. Survivor unidentified. That sounds pathetic. Oh, you beat RE3R, and then you couldn't decide on what to play next. Nice. How did you do with the run? How was the time and the grade? I'm bummed out. This ending sucks. I'll research the different endings and stuff, but I didn't expect us to beat this game. It's kind of short on how I played it. 427. All right. Not going to lie. This game was cool. I enjoyed it. I'm curious about the uh, additional endings. 96, 97, Human. Was this game made by a company called Human? That's sick. A rank C. Oh. Very cool game, though. All right. Vulcan, thanks again for the raid, man. I appreciate that. Uh, let's check out Clock Tower. Rewind. You said it's coming out for PlayStation and PC? Oh, shoot. I forgot I don't have my window cap. Da -da -da. 
Okay, okay, okay. I got it. It took me like eight minutes, but we got it. Cool thing about rewind is that you can play you can play the rewind mode or the OG. I love that. Just like like Tomb Raider or something. I like when you have a new experience and you got the old one, so everyone's happy. Let's take a look. Oh wait, this shit's fucked. Hold on. It's looking mighty retro. So this is how the SNES version looked. play the original as well. That'll probably be the next one I play. Bravo. That's sick. Falkito, you said it was coming out on PC as well, right? Or is it just PlayStation? We're so lucky to live in a mansion like this. Right, Jennifer? PC as well, cool. Oh, Switch would be so cozy. Kind of seems like a, a cool ass game to have on Switch, doesn't it? Did they say how much it's going to cost yet? See it being a cool 1999. Hey, yeah, that's what I think as well. But tell me I'm not wrong that this would be a, a cozy ass Switch game. Clock Tower Rewind, coming soon on PC, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Oh. Oops. All right, who should we raid, guys? Any suggestions? Thank you for being here. Vulcan with the raid, thank you so much. Straw with the raid. Um, Captain with the bits. Oh, on Halloween. There's, there's another game that's supposed to come out on Halloween. What is it? 
Somebody in my chat was telling me that a, a game's coming out in Halloween. Yo, but thank you all for being here and keeping the chat alive. Even as I was struggling. C, thank you for helping me out to find that stupid screwdriver. We'll do the original um, next time I play Clock Tower. That's it, yeah. Alright, in my follower list we have... Super Sleepy T, CRT Rex, Shiny Pockets, Dork Duck, Iceland, my girl Iceland, Dat Boy, and Team Hitless. I know, Belkito, damn. I wanted to raid you. We should raid Ice, huh? I haven't raided you in a while, so it would totally be appropriate. Are you streaming tonight, Belkita? I can never give you a enough love. It's a maybe. That's a maybe for me, dog. Hey, you can see uh, The Legend of Zelda again. Well, I hope you do, and I'll see you there if, if you do. Um, but love you guys. Uh, we're going to raid over to ice. Um, and I'll see you over there. Cheers, everybody. Raiders. y'all over there. Peace.